What is going on guys? Grave here today. I'd like to talk about the drip fed content we get here in Red Dead Online and how I wish they would adjust it and make a little bit of changes to it. Uh, kind of from, you know, the week to week content we get on Tuesday. Before I get into it, if you're new to the channel, if you, uh, if you enjoy the content, make sure you hit the subscribe button. If you're already a subscriber, make sure you have the notifications turned on. And be sure to check out everything down in the description, the community discord, my Twitter, and of course the affiliate GT Racing. Now that that's out of the way, let's hop right into it. This is going to be a shorter video than my last few videos. It's just something I wanted to touch on quickly. And that's, we get drip-fed content every Tuesday in Red Dead Online. A lot of people call the updates even drip-fed content. But, of course, Red Dead Online is not the only game. Most games do this. If they have weekly updates, monthly updates, a lot of times it's just small, minute, minor things. It's nothing that's really big. Um, and Red Dead Online it gives us a lot of things just over and over, you know, week in and week out. Um, it's kind of the same stuff. And there's already tons of stuff in game that players want. There's already tons of, I can think of clothing items that NPCs have worn either in online mode or in story mode that players would love to have. Uh, some of those items that you could buy from the trader uh, role in, or from the trader himself in the story mode, a lot of people wanted those kind of clothing items, but we got something completely different looking from Gus. There's so many things that are already in the game. In my opinion, if they're going to do this drip fed content, I wish they would at least give us content that we wanted uh there's a lot of people that have been asking for you know gun belt adjustments different ways to wear your gun belt or you know your holster just in general those things are already all in game and we still have never got a chance to experience any difference with those because uh you know rockstar does not has not decided that those things are important to change right now um i know people have asked for robberies train robberies that kind of stuff forever and even if you look at that, um, you already have either NPCs that are, you know, the people you're hunting with your bounty hunter role that are train robbers, uh, bank robbers, store robbers, whatever the case may be. You can rob stores and, and, and stuff banks, of course, in the story mode. Like I, What I'm just trying to get to is all the stuff or a lot of the stuff we want is already in game. And then some of the other stuff we ask for, in my opinion, some of the small minor things that uh, players ask for, you know, just for cosmetics or whatever the case may be would be really easy to do for drip fed content instead of what we get week in and week out um I, i'm just really kind of disappointed i guess i would say in the tuesday update we get every week it's just like a lot of the stuff like i said it's just on repeat we get a lot of the same things over and over a lot of the same clothing items the same discounts some of the new clothing items in my opinion are okay looking but at the same time there's still so many things that already exist in game that we could get for this drip fed content. I think a lot of people would be happier with than the things we've been getting week in and week out. Like I said, kind of at the start, every it, Red Dead's not the only game that does this. Pretty much all games do this now. Most all games uh, seem to have a battle pass or a season pass or whatever you want to call it. Uh, the outlaw pass, you know, for Red Dead Online. And most of them do a weekly update or update every couple of weeks to bring new items and, and things in, and, uh, you know, game uh, mode changes and stuff like that. So all games are doing this kind of drip fed content this day and age. And I think because of these passes, you know, they give out, they don't feel like they need to put as many items in week in and week out uh, because they're thinking, you know, you already have an outlaw pass. You already have a battle pass, whatever the case may be. But in my opinion, the outlaw pass sometimes is a lot of filler. Like every other game, the battle passes are a lot of filler. And I just wish we could start getting some items that we really want. Like I said, in Red Dead Online, a lot of this stuff is already here. If they would just bring it to the online mode. Of course, guys, leave me a comment with your thoughts. If you liked it, hit the like, and I'll catch you next time. Peace.